Well, that's amazing. That Scott's got another serval in the Mara. I'm very jealous. Now, we've got the two males in front of us and lying down and resting. Um, they just moved from the pan, so they did have a, a drink of water, and they moved down, they're drinking, and then there's another male and a single female. I can't see which female it is. I think it's possibly the mother of the cubs, and they just through there. You might not even see them. Quite a quite a thick little area. They're lying down there. I think it is possibly that female, the mother, who came and fed on a bit of the carcass and then decided to have a drink and moved off but now she's got to try to get rid of another male like yesterday morning she had this one male following her um, but eventually she gave him the slip so that was great and we got to see those wonderful little cubs oh, I think these lions they are full They've been drinking, um, so they are very content at the moment, and I th think they're probably going to hang around here. Most likely rest here for most of the day. Now, Brent, you asked if the big cats hunt in the rain. They do indeed, Brent, they do indeed. Um, it actually helps them. It's, it's, they use it to their benefit because when it's raining, it's difficult for the prey species, like the antelope and that, to pick up on the scent of the predators, for one, and to also hear them. So it gives the predators a bit of an advantage to be able to stalk a lot closer, and especially lion and leopard. And they can stalk a lot closer and ambush their prey. So yes, the rain does benefit them, and they will definitely hunt in the rain. I thought we might get a bit more activity from these lions, but, but it looks like they are very content at the moment, and most likely just going to stay here. So I wonder, why don't we head back maybe to those vultures? And then I also had an update. It sounds like they had tracks of a young male leopard down on Chitwa. Uh, so I might head down there a little bit later too. But let's head back to that buffalo carcass perhaps. See if there's still some hyena and vulture activity around there. That could be interesting. But nice to see the males nonetheless. But only three of them, yeah. And like I said, only these two males. That one male over there with the female. And then apparently they've got tracks. Someone saw tracks of the other male heading south. So he has already decided to move on. But it was great to see all four males together again. The Birmingham males. The dominant male coalition in this area. And always great to see them. What do you think, Senza? So we leave these uh, resting lions, um, and let's head across to James, who's apparently got a lioness moving through the long grass at the moment.